Well, my hands are probably shaking because it's cold out here, but I made it here at the boat ramp and dude, I'm so glad to see the sun. Uh, it looks so nice back there. I have it coming up. So uh, everybody else is gearing up, getting their stuff in. I think I'm prepared. I, I try to be as prepared as I can. So uh, I'm gonna get everything put in here, uh, kind of get organized, probably let it get a little bit light, more light. And um, then I'll probably get out there. That, my biggest thing was being comfortable. I'm like, I'm bringing plenty of food, plenty, plenty of clothes, because once I get uncomfortable, I just don't want to do nothing here. It's like, I'm done. All right, so we are out in the water. Sun's finally coming up. It's, uh, it's the sun should come out. It should warm up a little bit. Um, definitely several YouTubers that are in it, so hopefully we get a chance to see them. I just talked to Justin Kayak Catfish. I know Josh from Bass and Beer and Eric from Cast to Catch. Um, maybe we'll get a chance to see some of them guys later on. This water is really clear, and I'm just gonna start really close to the dock. Start working my way around the bank, I guess. fish oh that's a good fish that's a good fish oh that's a good fish right off the bat this is what I'm talking about oh my goodness oh my goodness the boat dock is right there the boat dock is right there look at this is insane. Look at this, look at this. Boat dock is right there. I've been out for five minutes. Oh my goodness. Oh, started off with a Helgramite, just my confidence bait. And I, this clear water like Parksville Lake near me and I know that Helgramite works good in there. Dude, that is a nice fish. 18 and three quarters. It's crazy. All right, I got my tag here. Oh my goodness. What a beauty to start. Like a two and a half pound largemouth. Dude, that's insane. I already got a really good fish. Now, it's the top three and they go by length and we got eight hours to fish. Oh man, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be fishing right now actually. You know what, that fish might not even count. Let me check the time. You know what? Oh, thank, well, what time is it? Let's see if I took the picture. That fish doesn't even count. Oh my goodness, 7.59. What an idiot. Oh my goodness. The times were eight to 3.30. I caught that fish at 7.59. All right, I, I'm not gonna, definitely I can't qualify, obviously, because it's on video, but I mean, even if I wasn't, I would have to not qualify that. But okay, at least I was, a, that was a mistake, but um, a learning experience here. So let's get back to fishing. All right, now I gotta make a re redemption for that fish. Ah, uh, that stinks. You know this? I think, yes, yes, yes. That's a good fish. Thank you, thank you. Please, please stay on, please stay on, please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. 
I'll need a plate or two. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Man, I am glad to get that fish. It's been uh, about an hour since the first one that didn't count. So the whole time I'm just like getting more and more frustrated, more and more that I don't land anything or don't even get a bite. This thing is big as that one, but it's uh, it'll count and it'll be something on, something I can actually count <laughs> this time. Oh man, feisty, nice large mouth. 15, oh, 15 and a quarter. All right, let's put that guy back in there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's snagging. Oh, there's an eagle up there. Dude. Hold on, let me get this unsnagged. Just sitting there. Way up on the peak. That's really cool. Oh, oh, looked at me. He knows it's on camera. That's a fish. That's a fish. Decent little guy. Come here. Ooh, he's a chunky little dude. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, he's 13 and a half. All right, 13 and a half. That'll be a second qualifier, so that's two. All I gotta do is get three on the board and have a chance to take home some money. Oh, oh, that's a fish. <laughs> I'm getting smaller. Hey, that's a smallmouth. Sweet. That's a little smallie. That's really cool. I was hoping to find these. I, know, I heard they're in here, so. And it's my first time fishing this lake. It's a pretty little guy. He's only 11 and a half, but he's worth getting a little picture taken of. Maybe I am on to something here. That was the second bite in about 10 minutes, so. Yep, there's one. Whoa, he's there. He might keep. I better get him in the net just to make sure. Right off those bushes right there. Yeah, I think he'll do over 12. Let's see if he's going to be long enough. Close your mouth, fish. Oh, barely. 12 and a quarter. All right, well, I officially have three fish on the board, so that, that really takes a lot of pressure off. At least I know I got my limit, and now I just a matter of upsizing. You know, hopefully everybody else ain't there out there slaying giants. But um, we got a lot more fishing to do, for sure. Well, let me show you what I've let me show you what I've been doing. I've been fishing this whole bank here, out from way down there. You can't see it, but probably three quarters of a mile, all the way this bank. This lake is like a river. It's got some flow to it and this is the outside bank so i figured there's there's more flow probably on this outside bank also ooh, the road go, i've been fishing along the road and of course if they put put the road here there's probably a lot of structure right here and they may have built the road up and there could be like a good drop off so 
Um, that's just my thinking and I kind of just started with it and I've been sticking with it. And um, I've actually, so I've actually caught, is it six, five fish? I think five fish total. One was too early. One was uh, not big enough, smallmouth. So I'm, I'm happy with what what's happened so far, and I haven't even stopped to eat lunch yet. So we're gonna take a lunch break here in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that Smalley? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I wasn't expecting him, so I don't know if he's hooked. Yes. Oh, no, I got him. There we go. <laughs> I about lost him. All right, check this out. That is fun. A good little small mouth. Twisted up my line. I kind of been working my way. I still up this bank and I'm, I'm trying to head into that little, little spot up there. It looks like I can stop and um, maybe pull over. And uh, caught another fish pretty quick after I caught that last one. Get the sun out of the face, but that's a that's a pretty small mouth. I gotta get a regular picture. And I, actually, I don't remember what was my smallest fish I caught. That last one was, I think 12. Oh, I'll look at it here, I guess. And then we'll see what this one is. Oh, he's the same size, so I'd love to get a smallie on the board, but he's the same size as my smallest one. But if I'm just catching fish, I'd rather catch these all day. Fine, strong little guys. Hey, quit biting me. That's just a, that's just a really pretty fish. <laughs> Look out my thumb. There was a mink. I think it was a mink. Just walking down the bank right there. I tried... I was turning, I tried to turn back around to get it on video and it went off. It was just walking down right there on that side where the road's at. Then I saw it just like super tight. And I set the hook and jerked it right out. Oh man. Have you seen anybody else or you talked to anybody? Anybody catch anything? I'm sure somebody's catching stuff. Oh, this spot right here is just what I needed for a lunch break. Um, it's right at 12 o'clock. They got like a couple of picnic tables and stuff over here and even a smoldering fire to just get a little bit of heat off of. It felt good. Uh, I ate a couple of Lunchables, had some Mountain Dew. I'm um, kind of ready to get back in my kayak. I got about another four hours to fish to the end of the day if I want to fish all the way through. So I uh, got a couple more places I'm gonna try and, and hopefully get some more fish. Ah, oh, that's why I don't do bait casters. Thirteen ounces, so it's not a pound. I mean, the state record is over double that. But that is so cool. I was thinking about taking it home to like get mounted or something, but that is a beautiful fish. <laughs> All right, we'll let it go back. I think I want to fish those right there. I don't know how deep it is right here. It's probably pretty deep, like right in the middle of the lake. I want to just drop my lure down that and just see what fish on them. Alrighty, I need to catch a couple more fish. Oh, that person over there just got a good one. There you go. I was just about, I'm just over here complaining to myself, whining about the wind. This person over here with the pedal drive just pulls up in front of me. And, well, they were going up that side and I'm going down this side. 
He's got a good bass. <laughs> Hopefully that person's not in the tournament. Nice. Probably is. I can't tell who that is. You're good. I'm, I'm, I can't take this wind anymore. I can't take the wind anymore. I keep having to pet I keep having to paddle the whole time. I can't cast. Uh I got three. They're all, they're not very big, but that was a good one. 19, nice. Okay. Yeah, I got uh I got like a twelve, a thirteen, and a fifteen. Yeah, I got a sixteen and a half Oh good. Yeah, you got some good ones then. I caught a couple little smallies, but they were real small. Yeah. I can't. Uh, it's driving me crazy. It's just getting too choppy, and oh, I know. Yeah, that's bad. I'm trying. To, I'm even trying to go with the wind. It still pushes me. But yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I chased it up there. Good. Maybe I get a little active. I think you might get another one. Uh, thanks. Well, there's another hour of fishing time left. I'm about done. This this wind really picked up. This water's so choppy. There, there's a lot of guys out here with pedal drives and stuff. It's such a big advantage when this weather like this, that a couple people went straight by me into the wind like it was nothing and I'm getting blowed all around. Trying to go with the wind and still can't hardly cast or fish. So uh, I'm probably about to call it, but I'm gonna wait on some of the other guys um, to see how they did. And then later on, we'll find out actually um, who the winner was because we got to upload our stuff. But I'm happy that I got my limit. I got three, so um, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. I haven't talked to him else. Who got three. That, that kid over there, he he got two. They're both bigger than mine. So if he gets another one, he's definitely gonna beat me. And there's a bunch of other guys out there. So I don't know. There may be a chance I make some money, but I guess we'll find out a little bit later on. Oh, get out of here! Oh my goodness. What a day. Goodness. Oh my. I'm getting soaked over here. These waves hitting. And we're wrapping this video up. Just um, had the live stream. So after we got done and got back in cell phone service, we uploaded our um, catches. Um, everything's done through online, um, through an app. And um, the group and stuff I'm with, I'll, I'll put the information below. and. Um, I, I was, I was wondering, I caught my limit. There was a bunch of guys that didn't catch, uh, very many fish. There was like, there was about, there was just over 20 people in it and I came in fifth place. So not quite, uh, any money or anything like that, but it was pretty cool to see that. Um, I, there was, I probably, there was probably about two hours of the time I didn't fish. Um, that definitely makes me want to get like a better kayak, stuff like that, where I can be more comfortable, stable out there. So that's, it was a really cool uh, learning. Also, I looked at a bunch of other guys' kayaks and stuff. But also, my man Josh Sharp came in first place, clutch at the end. We were waiting on him at the boat, and he's working his way back and catches the uh, his his last fish with a minute to go. So um, that was that was pretty cool. The things like that that can happen. So it was a pretty cool time. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to do more of this kayak fishing and um, try to do these meetups and tournament stuff. Especially because it's here in uh, East Tennessee area, and I'm I'm trying to learn as many little lakes and places like that as I can, and um, also it pushes me to get out early and fish all day and and uh, try to get better at that kind of stuff too. So uh, fun day overall. I'm pretty tired from it, but um, it was really cool. Good to meet up with a bunch of guys and uh, just had a fun time. Thanks for watching.